everybody <laughs> still loves Ray Romano, even though he's moved from that hugely popular CBS sitcom to his new hit series on TNT, Men of a Certain Age. Its second season premieres tonight. Joe. Hey. Hi. What's up? Hi, Stephanie. My son is in Lucy's class. Danny? Yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. Danny's well. Yeah. Hi. How's it going? Danny says you're on the senior tour. Trying. Trying. Not on it yet. Actually got a long way to go before I'm ready. Plus, you got to be 50, and that's way a couple of months away. <laughs> And Ray Romano is with us this morning. Good morning. How are you? Good Congratulations. To you. Great thank to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, here in the Daily News, four stars, right? Out of how I mean, many, by the way? How, how many? Oh, you know what? I didn't check that. <laughs> see? <laughs> if it's four out of ten, that's not good. <laughs> that's how it's, I look at it. Yeah, you, you don't, because uh, I, I went up to the dressing room and I saw that you were looking at this. I was trying. I didn't have my glasses, so right. I was trying to read it. Yeah. So, and and yeah. does that feel good or not to you? To get a good get review? A, yes. Yeah, but you know, I don't like to um, be too overconfident. So, I mean, we got a good review here. We got, I mean, the reviews have been good. I, I'm not complaining, right. but I like to complain. So in that <laughs> sense, I am complaining. Okay. Uh, the show was very successful last year. You have a considerable audience, right? We, yeah, but that doesn't mean... Advertisers love it. We could use more. <laughs> don't, don't think you don't, you know, we have enough. Wow. They're never enough. You and Andre mm -hmm. Brower and uh, Scott yeah, Barry, a, a great cast. My features are and the, the seeds of this, yeah. I'm a man of a certain age, so I sit and I identify with practically everything that comes out of yeah. the mouths of these guys. Well, it's write what you know. That's, that's what's worked for me in right. my career. Right, what I, and this is what I know now. You know, the little aches and pains of midlife, you know, physically and spiritually. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, internally. I mean, that's what it was. I was kind of going through this midlife, what do I do now? Mm -hmm. And so was my buddy Mike Royce, who I, I write with. Right. And we said, let's... Uh, Let's make money on it. So, <laughs> and it seems to be working. Yeah. Uh, your character in particular has a gambling problem. A little bit, yeah. He's, right. he's trying to shake it. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. Seems, seems to have some success. And the other thing that's interesting about your character is his sexual awkwardness. Write what you know. <laughs> write what you know. Um, well, here's the thing. I say write what I know, so I'm writing about a guy who's thrown into the dating world. Right which I have no idea. I'm married for 23 years, sure. so I have no idea what that would be like, but neither does this guy. This guy's a divorced guy. So I'm writing uh, as a guy who has no clue right. because this character has no clue. Sure. What's, what's the dating, uh, you know? He's been married 23 when, years. When you see guys on the street, guys your age or my yeah. age, and they come up to you and they say, I watch the show, what do they say? Yeah, they say, uh, that's me, I do that. And that's what worked with Raymond, too, you know? The families, the... The you know, we wrote, we wrote the, about what yeah. went on in there. Yeah. And, but surprisingly, women, this is what TNT tells me. Right. That, and sometimes they just tell me stuff to shut me up. But they <laughs> said that women are, we have a bigger woman. Uh, uh, More you know, women than women men? Yeah. And, uh, I, and I can't, you know. Because I think maybe they, you guys are actually sex symbols. No. I think it's a, it's a magnet. You're magnets. That's a sad commentary. If, uh, if we're, um, I think they want, I, I, I've heard they wanted, you know, it's a show that kind of uh, uh, opens up uh, the door into what's going on inside a That's guy's head. That's how they head. would help, help understand their spouses, perhaps. Or yeah, I guess. Or significant others. I guess, I guess. You uh, know, I mean, they look at, yeah, they, you know, they look at us and they say, well, I've, I'm married to a, a Idiot like that also. Like that, exactly. Yeah. Idiot like that is a word they use quite often. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And and TNT, I'm surprised, you know, I have to give credit to TNT because they have shows about attractive women solving crimes. Right, sure. So to take us on, right. you know, this show is about guys like me solving nothing, really, you know? <laughs> Schlubs. Yeah. Schlubs like us. Just, so, you know, what <laughs> soup do we want to eat today? That's our big dilemma. Yeah. And uh, did you ever break 80? I'm not when selling it. I'm not selling it. You know, it's it's a good show. I'm not it is a good. It. Well, I did the selling, and you did yeah, the you're right, and you're right. you did the underselling. Never... And if the underselling meets the selling, people will go and say, "Oh, it's better than I thought it would be." Yeah, that's what we want. <laughs> that's what we want. Um, but no, I didn't break 80. To answer your question, I have not. That, that quest still continues. Yeah, right. you ever? No. Yeah. No. no. But it's good. It's a goal. Yeah, it's good yeah. to have a goal. Yeah. Thanks for coming. All right, by. man. Thank really you. Really appreciate to see it. it, Ray Romano. Fix yeah. it in editing. <laughs> no. In post.